All right, good morning, Wasteland. Mr. G bringing you guys more explanatory style videos on things in Cross Up that also exist in real life. And today we're going to get to the auger or the meat grinder, aka how do screw propelled vehicles work? These vehicles actually have a name, they're called Ampha Rolls, uh, and they're very specialized usage, mainly working in really rough conditions. Um, things like sand or snow or swamps are where these vehicles work best. So the vehicle is typically borne by two large flanged cylinders, AKA our meat grinders. They each have a helical spiral flange, like a thread or screw. And on each matched pair of cylinders, one will have its flange running clockwise while the other one is running counterclockwise. So that will keep it from you know going off in one direction or the other. If they're going in opposite directions, then the drive will move the vehicle forward and then moving them both one way will make the vehicle strafe one way and moving them both in the same direction the other way will make the vehicle go the other way. So an engine is used to counter rotate the cylinder. So one cylinder turns clockwise while the other one turns counterclockwise. Interesting little adaptation that they had to make to make that work. Um, but the principle of the operation is the inverse of the screw conveyor. A screw conveyor uses a helical screw to move semi-solid materials horizontally or in a slight incline. In a screw propelled vehicle, it works best on solid, semi-solid sub substrates, so sands, snows, and swamps. Uh, let's be honest, this thing should float over the acid lake and cross out. What do you think, baby G? Um, but that's it for this one, guys. This one was just a shorty. We've really only seen these used very few times in real life, mostly just in Russia, Siberia, etc. Um, let me know in the comments if you want more explanatory vehicle vehicles. It's early videos uh, like this uh, in the comments. And I'll see if I can bang them out. Wow, words are just not forming out of my mouth part today. Yeah, I think Mr. G needs more coffee. So I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Baby G, Mr. G, out.